Okay, this is the pomegranate tree. I am going to prune it. I'm just going to reduce the size down a bit. Just pan around this way a little bit. The actual branches are coming up over the lawn there and they seem to hang down with the weight of the fruit so I'm going to reduce that a little bit. Uh, I've got some going over into the neighbour's place which I've got to remove. I've also got a couple which are coming up at the, at the back there. Where are we? There. Uh, they're not going to come out. I'm going to do some aerial layering on them. And I'm going to pinch a few other pieces in here as well. Any cross branches and whatever I'm going to take out as well. Okay, I'm first going to tackle this branch here which is coming out over the lawn. It uh, has been a bit of a nuisance. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these longer growths off here and I'm going to take some cuttings of them. So I'll get to that in a sec. Okay, my two tools of the trade, a pair of secateurs and a saw, a hand saw. Okay. Got all this growth here that I don't want. I want this gone. So I'm going to take it back to here. And now I've got these branches here. So I'm just going to make some cuts in here. Later on I'll show you how to make these into some cuttings. I'm just going to put these into some water. and I'll get some cuttings off of that later. I'm just cutting above a small branch. These uh, spiky pieces they're actually the branches and that's where the flowers come from. It's too far over. He's crossing into these other ones so I'm going to take him out. Back to the main trunk. Another one, this one's too low and he's just going to get longer and he's going to fall down here and become a pain later on so I'm just going to take him back. Okay, that's it done for me. 
pays to go back and stand back and have a look at some of these things just to make sure that it's like what you want it to end up as. Okay, this branch here is coming down a long way, but to make the fruit better, it's good to come back shorter. So then it puts all the growth into the new flowers. So I cut it here. And that gives me a couple of buds here, which will come out. Got some upright buds here, I'm just going to take them out too. Don't really want them. Got two buds out here. Branch coming down there. Don't think I need that. I'll bring this over to there. This one up here is two, I don't know whether you can see that, yeah. Uh, the ones up here. Show. Another one that's too long. He's getting mixed up with a lot of branches in the background. Not bad as such. It needs to come back to that here. branch here will become a marcot later on, uh, an aerial layering, that will give me a new tree. I'm just going to shorten this branch. Branches which are turning up one another here, and also the ones up above. Okay, it's going to shorten this one, and I'm going to take these ones out. Notice I'm cutting it back to the main branch, that way it'll heal up later on. like this which is pointing straight up in the air it's not necessary it's going to just become a long branch like this one eventually it's okay for mark wedding but it's uh, just becomes a bit of a nuisance okay i'm just going to shorten some of these Let's see if we can turn this around a little bit Bear with me while I adjust this. I think we're about right. Are we in here? Yes. Okay, I've got some branches which are going up and back in towards the middle of the tree. They've got to come out. Another one, this one's a bit longer. I've got one branch here, which is Spindly and it's crossing everything else, so it's good to bring it out. Notice I'm not cutting back to a stub, I'm taking it back to the main branch. Some little branches here which are coming out and crossing into the other ones and too low, so I'd rather have a clear stem so I can see underneath it. I'm just going to take these little branches out. These could become cuttings, but I'm not going to bother. I don't want to look. That will become a good cutting. I'm just putting them in water at the moment. All these branches on the ground that I've been putting away are going to end up as uh, chipping. So I'm going to put them through a wood chipper. Small branch there. 
this branch is tidying up into there, so I'm just going to reduce it back. At least I know I'm going to get some fruit on it. This one's coming back up, back into the tree again. Okay. Not sure if we can see all of that. Coming around a bit more. This branch here. Can I put my hand on it? No, we're not up high enough. I'll change that a little bit. Looks like I'll have some editing later. How's that? Uh, let's see. Okay, we've got some branches here going up in the air. Let's take that back to the main stem. One here that's going up and across into here. Some of them will make good cuttings. So into some water. This one's crossing down into here, so I might just take that off. Let's reduce this one, just might get some fruit off of those. Not small for anything else. Leave that there. Okay, what's going on? This one's going up. This one's going up. Spindly, that one's broken, that one's broken, that one's died, that's died, that's going up in there, so I'll take him back to there, I've got a couple of, yeah I've got one going up in the air there, he's a bit of pain I think, this one here, so we'll cut him to there, Sure, if that's good enough for a card, I'll chip that. He's too close to the others. He's going up in the air, so I'll take him out. I'm just going to reduce this and reduce that. So that leaves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buds on there, or eight little branchlets which you can support eight fruit so that's a lot for that small branch so that's the way that goes okay another one up in the air this one's crossing this one's going to become a mark up later on so i'll be cutting him back to the main branch these little twigs are not really good okay right Okay, I might call it quits there. Um, I will do a quick close-up of some prunings that I did last year and how they've healed up. Okay, here's one here. You see the little donut shape there and it's closing in. It's almost completely covered. Let's see if I can find another one. dark on me see it's completely healed over now so that will eventually in a couple of years you might even know that that was cut 